welcome back to my channel guys today you're gonna get to see me slay my beautiful model um, Denisha 25 on snapchat and Nisha underscore goals golden star on Instagram so I'm just gonna jump right into it guys um, today I am just doing a video for you guys today and I said let me go ahead and uh, you know get me a beautiful model to do this because I am tired of doing my own look so what you guys just saw was me just going through and doing her brows cleaning them up unfortunately I lost the clip um, for when I was actually drawing or filling in her brows so I'll have to do another video with that one later but I'm going in with LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color um, Warm Honey to clean up her brows and to base her eye, actual eyelid. Um, here I'm going in just with a little bit of setting powder just to set that lid so it doesn't crease on us. And it gives us a nice, um, you know, base so that our eyeshadow can pop and stick very well to it. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place, and this is their first Nubian palette that they have. I'm just taking that darker um, brown color, and I'm just going ahead and creating a nice transition from the bridge of her, uh, or the arch of her brow, um, down to the crease of her eyes. Just to bring that crease out more and to create a nice transition color. Next, I'm going to go in with the Nubian 2 palette, and I'm using though that deep burgundy color and that orange color in that palette. Not for certain what the names of those are, but I'm using those two. I'm doing the same thing, light circular um, left and right strokes um, in that crease area, and this is to create depth so that the look that we are going to have today creates a lot of depth in her crease. So I'm just going in consistently with that. Now I'm going in with just the orange here. Um, and I'm just going to blend this over that deeper burgundy. Only because I wanted it to be burgundy. But I also wanted to have that tint of orange and not such deep harsh burgundy um, in her crease. So I'm just going and blending that over um, her eyelid and in that crease area where I applied that burgundy. Next, I'm going to go in with AOA's um, concealer. This is their matte concealer. Um, this concealer came from shopmissa.com. It was a book, guys, and by far the best concealer that I've used for cut crease. Um, the reason that I like it is because it's very thick, and it does dry matte, but I don't let it really dry fully. I go in and I set it, as you guys can see here, with a little bit of setting powder. And that's just to ensure that it's not too matte and it's not too moist. I'm going to go back into that Nubian 2 palette and grab that burgundy color. And this is going to be used as the outer parts of my eye shadow. Um, just create that depth again, guys. Dark color creates depth. Light color doesn't. So you want to go on with the dark color if you want that deep look, deep shadowy look on the out sides of your um, shadow so I went in with that next I'm gonna stay in that Nubian 2 palette and I'm grabbing that shimmer color that's in there a lot of people use this color as a highlight a lot of people use this color as um, a very shimmery poppy natural light eye um, shadow so it just really depends on how you base your eye and what look you're going for today I'm grabbing that darker brown color because I want her crease to be deep this is a cut crease um, shadow look today so you want it to have that deep cut crease look I'm gonna go in with this beautiful uh, I call it Egyptian green um, and I'm just gonna use that in the inner corners of her eye and this is what brings that cut crease out more when you put two dark colors on the outside and that light color on the inside shimmery highlight poppy color it just draws attention to that eye and that deep um, cut crease that we have going on so repeating that on the same eye guys I'm not gonna really go through and say too much of what I've done in this one um, I'm just gonna repeat those same exact steps the brushes that I'm using are AOA brushes 
Um, these brushes did come from Shop Miss A, and I'll drop the link down low for you guys. ShopMissA.com. Everything is a book. All of their co cosmetics are a book. And yes, they are not high-end cosmetics. Yes, they are um, more on the inexpensive brand side. But these products are to die for. If you are an inspiring uh, makeup artist, if you are a freelance makeup artist, if you're just building your kit, Shop Miss A is the place for you. And I'll drop that link down below. So this um, eyeliner is the beast, guys. This eyeliner, I have got to get the full product of this because I am a Ipsy member, Ipsy bag member. So of course I get my Ipsy bags every single month and I have those five um, sample products in there to try. This particular, particular um, eyeliner, I want to say it came out of my june or july bag i'm not for certain um but it came out of that bag and oh my god it's to die for normally i am a liquid eyeliner girl but this i mean this is still liquid eyeliner but it's applied with an actual pencil type stick type thing and gosh it is amazing the matte pitch blackness of it and the uh, precise and um that the precision that you can get with that that tip is amazing i just completely absolutely love it so i'm gonna go back in with la girl pro concealer this time this is in the color fawn and i'm just going to use this to clean up the top of her brows the color um fun and this particular color matches her skin very close and i'm actually going to use this color as her foundation as well um, simply because a lot of foundations are very ashy on her and this color just gives her a lot of warmth. So I'm going to go in with the orange corrector in the LA Girl Pro Concealer. She doesn't have too many dark spots, dark circles, anything. But we like to put it around her mouth because and under her eyes just because she has a little bit of dark circles and bags. So again, I said I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and you can use this as a foundation i know a bunch of people who use it as a foundation they absolutely love it because it's full coverage and it gives them that flawless finish that they're looking from this color almost looks like it's not her color but um once it actually sets really well it will look very very well in the next frame you guys will see that it's starting to um blend with her skin tone a little bit more so I'm going in with the Black Opal um, Foundation Stick, and this is in the color Ebony Brown. I'm going to use this as her contour color. Um, a lot of people may say this is very harsh color, but this is going to give her warmth in her face. Because as you guys see, we need to put some warmth back in there um, so she doesn't look so ghosty. So we're going to go in with the um, e.l.f. I think this is their um, foundation purifying pair I'm not for sure um brush but this brush came from Walmart um it was six dollars this is by far one of the best brushes that elf has besides their flat foundation or powder brush this one is by far awesome um on about three of them things so they're amazing so I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this is in the color Warm Honey. And we don't necessarily have to highlight on her again, but I just want it for her eyes and her under eye area to pop a little bit more. So that's why I went in with a little bit more highlight. Um, and this is the e.l.f. Um, concealer blending brush that I'm using to just blend out that concealer under her eyes on the bridge of her nose and her chin as well as her forehead but I'm gonna go it back in with a beauty blender and just to blend that out a little bit more um, because you guys weren't able to see that that brush was kind of giving me a little bit of streaks but I just went in and blended that out with a little bit of beauty blender that beauty blender was damp so I did go in with a damp beauty blender um, just to blend that out and smooth and give us a, a really flawless finish when it comes to the foundation and the uh, concealer. And that was the airspun that I used to set her um, T-zone area with and under her contour. So now I'm going to go in with the Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Palette. 
and I'm going to use this of course to contour her face as well as contour her nose um, I did not use the black opal around her nose just because it was really dark and I didn't want her contour around her nose to be really really sharp um, and you know look like just really too much um, so that's why I didn't use that around I'm just going in with the powder to um, contour her nose with that um, and I do that after I have applied the setting powder just to be sure that I'm you know contouring what I need to contour and not necessarily um, more or less of the nose so going back into that Nubian palette and just grabbing that darker color that I used, that darker brown color, and this is just going to create a nice transition under her eye. And just to finish that eye makeup because I just love, I'm so obsessed, obsessed with putting the colors under the eyes and that white liner. Oh my gosh, it is just my obsession right now. I cannot get over it. Um, and as you guys can see here, I am using the LA Girl Pro um, I don't know if this is their eyeshadow base stick or not um, I can't remember the name of it but I do know that it is their um, white liner or white jumbo pencil I'm just using that um, on her waterline just to make her eyes pop and open up a little bit more um, and she's gonna take a little praise dance boom, boom, boom. You know, guys, I was taking a break in between here, and um, I told her, I said, go ahead and Snapchat, girl. So, of course, she had to jump on Snapchat unfinished and just show them the process of this beautiful look. And uh, the finished product will be up soon. You guys just stay tuned. But anyways, I'm going to jump right back in. So here I'm going in with a very inexpensive um, pair of lashes. This lashes came from my local beauty supply store. I believe they are the number 43 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'm just going to apply those using my Kiss um, eyelash adhesive. This eyelash adhesive is the bomb. For so long, I've been using um, actual hair glue, the 30-second salon hair glue. And it's nothing wrong with it. It's amazing. It, it works well, but it could be very dangerous. So I decided to um, transition over to the Kiss. And I believe it's by the same company. So now I'm going to go in with the um, Black Opal. This is their... Um, mahogany if I'm not mistaken their mahogany pencil and I'm just going to use that around her lips to line her lips I kind of lined it one side a little higher than the other but later in the video it will balance out very well I'm going in with Lena Lashes lipsticks and this is her I believe either her baby matte or her matte lipsticks this freaking lipstick is amazing guys the only downfall is it is it took forever to get here it took about two months for me to get it I ordered about 17 pair of them not all matte some glossy some matte um, but her lash her lashes her lipstick and everything her line is amazing check her out lenalashes.com and I'll drop that link down low as well so I'm just going to clean up around her lips with um, just the same fun Ella Girl Pro Concealer. And now I'm just going to go in and um, get all of that setting powder off. We're going to wipe all of that off. This is with a um, e.l.f. brush as well. Guys, e.l.f. brushes are amazing. They're very inexpensive. And they're, they're just a good way to start your kit off if you need to. So going in with Ultra Beauty um, Ant Lashes, and I'm going to apply that down to her bottom lashes. This is going to create a lot of amplify in her bottom lashes and just bring them out more. I'm going to set all of this using the e.l.f. Um, Mist and Set. Guys, this setting spray is all of three books. And setting spray is the most important thing 
Um, you don't always have to get expensive brand, but it is good sometimes to have it. I've used Urban Decay. I've used, you know, all of those expensive brands. But this is my go-to when I don't have the funds to get the expensive brand. So check that out at your local Walmart or Target. Um, you can also purchase that offline. Going in with the Wet n Wow um, Highlight and Precious Petals. This is their Mega Glow. And gosh, it is mega glowy. So you guys can see the before and the after look here. This look was simply inspired by just a, you know, um, let's do a YouTube video look. <laughs> and honestly, we were going to do a smoky eye to begin with, but um, I never know where I'm going to end um, until I get to the end. I always start with. I'm gonna do this look and I always 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 majority of the time nine times out of ten I switch it up in the process of actually doing it unless it is a paying client who uh, requested a specific look so follow make sure you follow the model this is our Instagram at Nisha underscore underscore golden girl and please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this book now if you are in the Atlanta area if you are not in the Atlanta area traveling is available and um, we can discuss that via Facebook follow me on Facebook at Hannah Jackson as well as my business Facebook page HJ Beauty LLC and Instagram at HJ Beauty 04. I really appreciate you guys for watching today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, follow, do all of that good stuff and I will be back for more videos. Peace, guys.